Can four perfect players build a nation? Can 16 perfect players build four nations? Let's go and find out, shall we? We've got the Irish League, the Northern Irish League, the Scottish League and the Welsh League with perfect players. They are all perfect players, all centre forwards, all 15 years old. Perfect hidden attributes and they have a future transfer. We've been here before, gang, in 2097. Yes, that means these players will still be playing at the ripe old age of 90. They're all going to Manchester City, I think. So... We've got 75 years of this simulation where we're going to be building nations. The four perfect players will be going through, elevating their teams, the lower teams in that division we've actually put them on, in order to help them catch up to the top teams and hopefully build a nation going forward. We're looking for international tournament wins for a start. That's a barometer for success. But they will retire from international football probably about 2040, 2042, something like that. So it's not the be-all and end-all. It is domestic success for the teams. We'll see who does the best. But also, we'll be looking at European trophies, most notably Champions Leagues. So the team that wins the most Champions Leagues in this experiment will win the experiment, and that will be that. So the players then, we have got Irish Coffee, Irish Cream, Irish Whiskey, and Leprechaun, because Leprechaun, obviously. You didn't think I was going to make some names like this without throwing a few puns in there, did you? Northern Ireland, we've got Hugh Morris, because I'm humorous. Yeah, Ricochet, Jim Nasium, and Dan Druff. Scotland, we've got Stevie McNugget, Johnny McScottish. I think I was running out of creativity at this point. Bill Wallace, as in Braveheart, and Ronnie McDonald, because of McNugget, we went with a bit McDonald sort of theme. And then Blue Whales, Killer Whales, Save the Whales, and Whales of a Time or Wales. Now in terms of the leagues, in terms of the competition reputation, we were expecting that the competition reputation will increase over time. Of course, now the Irish League is 85th, the Northern Irish League is 86th, the Welsh League is 109th, so they're all really going to be coming from behind. But the Scottish League is already in the top 10 in 9th place. So I would think that the Scottish League is is they are the bet they are the Scottish League is the best equipped to have themselves be built. So for the purposes of this experiment, I know I said the barometer for success will be the Champions Leagues and who will win the most will win the experiment. But there's a second little um, competition going on. It is Scotland versus Ireland, Northern Ireland and Wales. Three against one in a three on one handicap match. Right. We're going to go through 10 years straight off the bat. Look at this, Hugh Morris in the, playing for Carrick in the Danks Bank Premiership has got 689 in 659 games. Varying levels of games, that's probably because of different, league, league, different amount of league games and all that jazz. Uh, they're all scoring a hell of a lot of goals though, a hell of a lot of goals. And let's go and have a look at the Danks Bank Premiership. Well, it's been Carrick who've absolutely dominated every single season. It has been Carrick. And it's Hugh Morris who's got Player of the Year. Top goal scorer has been Hugh Morris, but Rick O'Shea has got 40 and 35, 40 and 38 for Hugh Morris, 38 and 40 for Dan Druff. There you go. And it's been shared round a little bit in Wales. It is Aberystwyth, with Carnarfon and Flint Town. The so three of the four teams that we've given players to have won the league. Aberystwyth have got Blue Wales. Carnarfon have got Save the Wales. And Flint Town have got Wales of a time. And Airbush UK have been coming in second quite a lot. In terms of the Cinch Premiership, Kilmarnock and Livingston have come through in recent years. Ross County up there as well. I think probably St. Johnston have got one of the players. Yes, they have. They've got Ronnie McDonald. Rafael Marquez in charge, St. Johnston. The Cinch Premiership is up in eighth place. It's actually elevated itself. The Dance Bank Premiership is up in 25th, all the way up from 86th. That's impressive, isn't it? Welsh League up in 36th. And the Irish League is up in 20th. And it's Drogheda, Bin Harps, Bohemians. And that's it. They've, they're the ones that have won. Shelbourne have been coming in second place. Any Champions Leagues in the first 10 years? No. Any Europa Leagues? No. Any Conference Leagues? Oh, Celtic. Celtic runner-up against Monaco in the 22-23 season. Does that count? No, because Celtic are not one of the teams. Kilmarnock, runner-up, Conference League, twice. Celtic as well. But Kilmarnock have come run-up in the Conference League twice. But in 2024, Ireland came runner-up to Spain in the Euros. Irish whiskey with 8 in 6. That's, in, that's actually interesting because th only three of the four were actually in the Irish squad. Have they all been getting capped? Surely they must have been. Should we put position in? Yeah, look at all these caps. Look at this. Irish coffee's only got 6 in 13 for Ireland. Unfortunate, isn't it? No one's been retrained in terms of position yet. Now, we're only going to go through another 10 years at this instance and I'll tell you why. Because... 
their international careers will probably be coming to an end already, just the second stop. So I want to have a check in at World Cups and see if anyone's got any international success before we realise that they have actually all retired from international football. That's uh, so 35 years old, and they've all been retrained, a lot of them have been retrained, should I say, as attacking midfield centres, except Hugh Morris. So Irish Coffee's barely had a game, 12, 27 games for Ireland. In terms of the Premier Division, then, again, the Irish Premier Division has been, last 10 years, it's been Drogheda and Shelbourne, and that's down in 11th. Might be up from last time. The Welsh League is up in 15th. Aberystwyth, Carnarfon in the last 10 years. The Premiership is up in 6th. Kilmarnock, Livingston and St Johnston. Kilmarnock are probably the team that are going to do it first, if if not others as well in Scotland. I mean, more teams in Scotland are going to do it before anybody else, unfortunately. Uh, the, we've looked at the Irish uh, division. Uh, the, the Northern Irish division is in 14th and it's just been Carrick. It has been Carrick all day. Well, in 2032, Northern Ireland have won the Euros. We've got an international tournament. Northern Ireland beating England in the final. Austria coming run up in 2028. Northern Ireland beating England in the final. Patrick Vieira's England. No, Ralph. And Ireland have come run up again in 2036, but Northern Ireland winning the Euros in 2032. And it was Dan Druff who was top scorer. Oh, sorry, best player. Golden Boot. Stephen Mc... Oh, it was Matthew Skeet for England. Dan Druff got five in five. Rick O'Shea got four in six as well. Well, and Scotland have got a World Cup in 2030. Well, we've had some success. And look at that. Look at that. Scotland 2030, Wales 2034, and Ireland 2038. Northern Ireland winning the Euros. So all four nations have had an international tournament to their name. And in 2038, Ireland beating Scotland in the final Scott Parker in charge of Ireland and it was Ronnie McDonald and Johnny McScottish for Scotland but it was Irish Cream Irish Coffee and Lepra Sean so all the perfect players on the score sheet in the final scoring all six of the goals you love to see it so right so in terms of the conference league we were last here in 2032 we've got Kilmarnock Ross County have both won a tournament with Finn Harps getting a runners up Nothing in the Europa League, so I'm not really confident of a Champions League. We will double check. Man United have won a lot of Champions Leagues in this experiment. Tottenham have won a couple, but nothing else. So I would say so a lot of them are still actually there on international duty. Northern Ireland mustn't have qualified for the tournament, to be fair. But Scotland, Ireland and Wales have. But this is going to be the, probably the last tournament they're all going to be there as international players. So we're going to jump through to the end. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're going straight to the end. 75 years. We're going to 2097 to see what happened to the players and how well they did over the course of their careers and who won European trophies along the way. In terms of all-time career goals, it looks like Rick O'Shea with just over over 4,000 goals at the tender age of 90 years old. Still the perfect player. Been played in a few different positions, to be fair. Right, we're going to look straight at the Irish Premier Division first, which is ranked in 12th over the course of the last, what, 50 odd years. It's been Shelbourne and Dragida. They're the two winners. They're the two big winners in Ireland. Look at this 20 games in, 20, 20 wins for Shelbourne. Oh, the Dance Bank Premiership is 14th. <sighs> Not looking great, is it? Dungannon have won for the past, what, 25 years? And even then, the previous 25 years, they, they'd won a lot. Overtaking Carrick. Porter down on the up. And Carrick finishing third a lot recently. Flipping away. Scottish Premier League is up in third in terms of league reputation. And it's been Livingston and Kilmarnock are the two teams. Ross County in there with a couple. And St. Johnston also having a share of the spoils. But it's mainly Livingston and Kilmarnock. So they're the big hopes for Champions League success. But with Scotland being third, I think they might get a Champions League or two on our travels. And now finally, the Welsh League is down in 22nd. It was up in 15th just a few short years ago. Flint Town have been have been the team, haven't they? Flint Town have been the team. And they do have a Europa League to their name. So let's go and let's let's go through from the bottom. So we were last here in 2042. We can't go any further down than this, so here we go then. Rangers runner-up over here to Reading in 2055-56. Middlesbrough beating Bohemians. Bohemians runner-up in the um, Conference League and again losing out to Sturm Graz. Finn Harps have won it in 2071-72. Cardiff have won one. Does that count for a Welsh team? Clutching at straws there, right? Motherwell, 2094-95. And 2042-43, St. Johnston won a Europa League. Ross County runner-up. Ross County runner-up. Kilmarnock, St. Johnston. 
Finn Harp's runner-up up here. Reading beating Porto in the 2061-62 season. Drog Eder. Aloha. Motherwell. See, this is the thing. Quite a few Scottish teams are coming through. Not part of that uh, contingent of perfect players. Drog Eder again. Finn Harp's runner-up again. Flint Town winning it in 2081-82. Shelbourne. 2088-89. And that's it. Celtic have got a couple of runners-up and winners' medals, respectively. Now it's the big one. The Champions League. Has anyone done it? So we were last here around 2042, weren't we? And again, Man United. Leicester beating Tottenham in the final in 2047-48. Rejoicing for Leicester fans. We've still got nothing going forward. We went in the 60s. Nothing. And Kilmarnock in 2065-66, beating Liverpool in the final. Oh, I missed Livingston. Apologies. Losing to Atletico Madrid. And Livingston have not got one of our players. So that's amazing that Livingston have actually got there. Coming run up in the Champions League before anybody else got to the final. Final. Three in a row for Fulham, beating Ross County on the way, and then they lost in the fourth final in a row. Ross County have got a Champions League. 2074 75, Kilmarnock runner up again. Middlesbrough winning. Livingston have won one. Kilmarnock have won another. In the final three years in a row, losing to Liverpool two years in a row. Liverpool won four in a row there, five in six, and then they lost to Arsenal most recently. Well, there we have it. That has been quite conclusive that it's the Scottish League. Unfortunately, we didn't get much else from anywhere anywhere else disappointing quite disappointing in terms of footballer of the year then um i mean i'm not going to go through and decide who's won the most in terms of nations because that would take far too long what we're going to do though is i'm going to go through and going to count how many times one of the perfect players did not win it in the experiment hang on johnny mcscottish was playing for livingston he retired he had a future future transfer he retired at 86 i didn't know you could do that no wonder livingston did so well they did have one of our players i've just seen it here because he's won ballon d'Or a few times i wondered why i couldn't click on him all these players yeah he never made it never made it interesting i mean he's, he's been shared around massively but since the first like 10 years of the experiment uh no, none of them won it then about three and about 10 years was was not these players and then for like the last 65 years it has all been the perfect players now there's, now, there's no more success in terms of uh, euros for anyone and no more success really in trophy although northern Ireland in 2046 did come runner up in the world cup portugal winning three in a row four out of five fair play portugal most recent final was brazil versus is England with Brazil coming out on top. Now they're all going to Manchester City. We're going to go forward one more year just to see if they all just fall off the face of the game. Most of them have gone. Manchester City are in the championship. They've actually won the league because all the players have played phenomenally well. Some of them have actually retired, but enough of them haven't retired. Does not train. Yeah, recurring injury, do not train. 91 years old. I thought it was current ability then. I was like, what's happened there? No, that's their age. So there we go. That is the end of this experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was a bit of a fun one, a bit of a silly one, really. I wanted to see if it could help build a nation. And turns out, he managed to get some international success, even though it was just forwards in the team. And they've managed to get some success in terms of European competitions. They didn't have the perfect place for the Scottish teams. I wonder if the other three nations would have would have thrived a little bit more. I guess we'll never know unless we do it again. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. If you haven't seen the other video, a bit like this on the channel, where we kept players locked at a club for about 70 years, go and check it out. One of them with frozen attributes, one of them without. See how badly, see how, see how bad they get when they're in the 60s. Are they still playing? Check it out. Take care, gang. I'll see you soon.